So we need to talk about the New York Jets. Last season, they were 31st in defense, while this season they are first. The reason for that is just simply star power. Sauce Garner is the third best corner according to Pro Football Focus, and man coverage, he's the first best corner as a rookie. Quinnen Williams is one of the best defensive players in all of football. DJ Reed is playing like an all pro player. And Michael Carter II is the 18th highest graded corner, according to Pro Football Focus. You also have CJ Mosley, who Bill Belichick just said, there isn't a much more difficult player to face than him. This Jets defense is so scary to the point where I literally had a nightmare about them last night. Okay, I'm kidding. I didn't have a nightmare about them, but the Patriots will after the Jets beat them on Sunday. But what's going on, guys? Swag, you're back. And today we're talking about the New York Jets. I made a video a couple of days ago. It literally got 200 views. And I was kind of disappointed because I love talking Jets football. But then all of a sudden, I had like five comments when I was checking my phone today. And they were all from my Jets video. I was like, wait, what? And then I clicked on it and it's got 3,000 views. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. After all summer of trying to make Jets videos, finally one of them got out there. It was promoted by the algorithm. But for this one, we're talking specifically about the Jets defense, but I will be getting into the offense as well because be real, the offense for the Jets will determine their season. We know the defense can shut down anyone. It just shut down the freaking Buffalo Bills. But can this offense go out there against the New England Patriots on the road and produce? Can Zach Wilson not throw three interceptions in this game? Two of them were in the second half. If Zach Wilson had one interception in that game against the Patriots, they would have won. It's not even debatable. They would have won that football game. But he didn't throw one interception. He threw three. But we're talking about the defense, man. I'm not. We'll talk about Zach Wilson in a second here, but let's talk about the defense because that's the title of the video and stuff. But So the Jets this season, they've allowed 176 points in nine games. They're the highest graded defense in the NFL this year, according to Pro Football Focus. The Jets, they've gone from last in scoring defense to 10th this season allowing 10.1 fewer points per game. They can become the first team since the 2002 Colts to allow 10 fewer points per game from one season to the next. The Jets, they've gone from last in total defense guys to seventh this season, allowing 85.7 fewer yards per game, the third largest turnaround since 2000, and biggest since the 2012-13 Saints. Now for the Jets, I've already talked about their star power. Sauce Gardner, he leads the NFL with 13 pass deflections. He's pro football focuses top graded corner in man. I mean, this is a player in man coverage, guys, who has allowed seven yards, four catches on 13 targets and a 40.2 passer rating as a rookie. Sauce Garner is him. You talk about a likable player in the NFL, it's Sauce Garner. How can you not root for this guy? What he did against the Buffalo Bills was completely terrifying. Of course, he had that interception. He was defending Gabe Davis on that last play. He's gone up against some very talented receivers and he shut down every single one of them. But you also have to give credit to guys like Quinn and Williams and DJ Reed and Michael Carter II. Now I could sit up here and read you guys their stats and I think I actually might because I wrote them and researched them so I kind of want to do it even though you guys might find it boring, but we'll be quick. DJ Reed, 58.6 passing rating when you're throwing on him. And on top of that, he hasn't even a lot of touchdown. He has seven pass deflections and he's forced seven incompletions. And then Michael Carter II might be one of the more underrated corners in football. Like how many of you would know that he's the 18th highest graded corner this season? He's the third best slot corner in football. That's actually remarkable. And then Quinton Williams, you can't say enough about him. I mean, we're talking about Aaron Donald and Chris Jones, but Quinton Williams is right on that type of territory. He's tied with Jeffrey Simmons of the Titans for the most pressures among defensive tackles. He's first in sacks with seven, which already is his career high with eight games to go. Obviously, he has nine QB hits, and he's the third best defensive tackle according to Pro Football Focus behind those guys. I still believe he's on their territory, and there's still a lot of football to be left, but it's clear that the Jets have an abundance of talent. And TJ Mosley, you can't say enough about him. Bill Belichick, I was listening to him talk on Wednesday a couple of days ago, and he said that there isn't much more of a difficult player to go up against than TJ Mosley. And it's very true. He's fifth in tackles. He's an incredible leader. He does everything. TJ Mosley literally does everything on the football field, recovering fumbles, going after the quarterback. 
I don't know how his skills are in terms of dropping back into coverage because like I said, I'm not a football guru. I do this for fun. I'm a YouTuber, bro. The reason why I make YouTube videos on the Jets is because I suck at football. Like if I was good at football, I'd be in the NFL. But I do know that Mosley's good. Like it's, I'm, I'm not a casual, right? But despite how good the Jets defense is, it's going to come down to Zach Wilson. You guys knew it was coming, right? I was going to talk about Zach Wilson eventually. He's on the screen right here. Now, before Zach Wilson was drafted, I was listening to a podcast and everyone, everyone, everyone was ripping Zach Wilson, saying that they couldn't believe how high he was taken in the draft and how he wasn't going to have a good career. And to that point, I just believed it. I didn't actually form my own opinion. I was like, yeah, Zach Wilson is going to be a bust. And boy, could I not have been more wrong. Now, Zach Wilson played the best game of, I'm not going to say his career because I, I don't know if that'd be accurate, but he played the best game that I've seen him play against Buffalo. And the reason why Zach Wilson did that was for two reasons. One, he got rid of the ball almost as soon as he had it. Two and a half seconds or less, that ball is flying out of his hands. And the second reason is he's got a superstar receiver named Garrett Wilson. Now, Garrett Wilson was another top 10 pick by the Jets, who I absolutely love. I was stunned that the Atlanta Falcons drafted Drake London over Garrett Wilson. And personally, I think that's going to be a mistake. If It, it might already be a mistake. I know that they're, uh, the Falcons are kind of in shambles right now and Marcus Mariota, but I mean, Garrett Wilson, there's just something different about the way this guy plays the game of football. And it's just by, the, by watching him play. I could literally talk to you guys about Garrett Wilson and I, I wouldn't have to mention a single stat. And you guys would believe me if you're a Jets fan. But obviously, I make videos for everyone, not just Jets fans. So I, I'm going to pull up stats. And believe me, when I do, it will blow your mind. So in the last two games, Garrett Wilson, he has the fourth most receiving guards in the NFL, the fifth most receptions. He's in a position to where he legitimately can put up over a thousand yards this season, which would make him the first Jets receiver to do so since 2015 when Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker did it. But on top of that, there's a lot more to Garrett Wilson than just what he's done in the past two weeks. I honestly lost the rest of my statistics, so I'm going off the top of my head here, but I remember hearing that he was one of the most separated receivers in the league. You talk about getting open. In terms of receivers who have seen 40 plus targets, there aren't many, I don't even think you can count on one hand of how many more can create separation than Garrett Wilson. He's just a terrific talent, and the Jets got him and Sauce in one draft. That alone would be good, but there's also some other players that they've drafted, which I will get into in a future video, but for this one, like I said, we're just trying to stick to this, but I do want to talk about Michael Carter. I just got him off the waiver wire. I used a claim on him, obviously. I just made a trade for him. I traded Dalvin Cook for Michael Carter. I also got Terry McLaurin, and then I got... I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't remember who else I got in that trade. It was a, it was a depth trade. Obviously like Dalvin cook is on a different level than them, but the fact that I got Michael Carter made me the most excited because what he did against the Buffalo bills was just completely cruel. What he did after contact was absolutely just mesmerizing 6.08 yards per carry after contact. He forced eight missed tackles. And he had a 90.4 pro football focus grade. Now, if you look at the numbers, you're seeing 12 for 76 and a touchdown. And you're like, dude, come on. You're hyping him up. Well, one, it was the Bills. And two, after contact, he was looked like a man possessed. So obviously, Brees Hall and Corey Davis, these guys are out right now. I mean, Brees Hall's out for the season. Corey Davis is out against the Patriots. So guys are going to have to step up like Elijah Moore. And uh, also... Uh, Denzel Mims is going to have to step up. Uh, I don't I don't know why I didn't write down his first name. That's why I stuttered. But he looked pretty good against the Bills. He made a good catch. I mean, he, he's he's been stepping up, bro, when given the opportunity. I know he's trying to get paid, so so good for him. But that's all I got for you guys, man. Like, I appreciate the love, Jets fans. I've been waiting all summer, bro, for a Jets video to pop off or to get, like, at least more than a couple hundred views. But we did it, man. And like I said, bro, let's try to get this video to 500 likes, bro. I asked for 100 last time. 500 is absurd, but... Hey, that's the type of territory for like the Vikings and the Chiefs videos on my channel. I know the Jets can do it. I know they can come through. And like I said, I will be watching the game on Sunday. And after you guys beat the Patriots, I will make a video. And if that comes back to backfire, well, then that sucks. Sometimes it happens. But I just, I have a good feeling about Sunday, man. The Patriots are not, this, not as good as the Jets, bro. 
they're not as good as the Jets. And it might be a, a field goal type of game, game-winning field goal, but it's time for the Jets to beat the Patriots, bro. 